assalamu alaikum friends my name is muhammad yunus and i am udo technical developer so if you haven't subscribed to our channel please go to our channel udo discussions and click the red subscribe button to subscribe our channel and also click the bell icon so that you can get the updates of the upcoming videos so uh, as you guys know that we are working on udo technical course which is for udo 16 so in the previous video we have talked about udo uh, udo menus actions views and models like how we can uh, connect Udo menus with uh, views uh, using the debug mode so in this video we are going to add a custom menu item and a custom action uh, to show you how to display the data of the model uh, of like on the basis of some filters okay so here you can see uh, these are the menu items which I discussed in the previous video and this is the view which is you can switch the view using uh, these icons can be view tree view so there are multiple views available and if you click on any record this is uh, the form view. okay so uh, you have another option to see these all information like the technical information related to Odoo. so for this purpose first of all you need to activate the debug mode which i showed you in the previous video and then you need to click on uh, settings and uh, open the settings so here you will see the technical menu and under the technical menu you need to scroll down and here you will see actions okay and here you will see user interfaces which is a menu item so let me just open the menu item and here the menu item is like uh, if you see this is products so let me just search for the products okay and these are the different menu items which are available like for with the name products but uh you can see sales this is path to the menu sales module and then the products menu and then the products menu okay so if you go to the sales this is the sales module sales menu and this is the products menu and this is the products menu so the third menu is the products so this menu is the one which we are looking for so let me just click here so here is the sum of the information for this uh, menu item so here uh, this shows the parent menu which is uh, this menu this is the name of uh, the menu item like uh, this one this product and uh, this is the full path and here you can see the action so there are a couple of actions like uh, in this case we are using act window actions uh, so we will discuss in some other videos the other uh, action type and this is the action selected okay so we will discuss in it uh, later in this video this is the sequence and uh, here you have the access right which is not the topic for this video so let me just add the menu item uh, just under the products so like uh, in in order to do so we just uh, need to duplicate this menu item because we want to keep the same information but i just want to change this so uh what i want to do here is if you open the product so here you can see the product type so product type are of two types consumable and service so if, if we bring the cursor over here so we will see that uh, what is the technical information so here the last uh, the last parameter is selection which is consume c o n s u which is for consumable and service is for service so we want to display these both products in different menu items like for one uh, menu item we will see as uh, services and for other we will uh, add consumable so let me add uh, consumable products okay and let's just uh, leave the action same it is okay just save it and go back here and just refresh the page okay uh, so if let's refresh the page so here you can see consumable products this menu has been added it just display the same products like in this case but uh, only uh, the menu item is different it uh, is calling the same action so we can just uh, uh, create a new action for this purpose also so let me just uh, click here to open this action so this is the action that uh, uh, that is displaying this uh, data and this action as we discussed already that uh, contains some of the information which is very useful like the object object means the model like which model needs to 
use to uh, collect the data and this is the sequence of the views which i showed you here like these views and here is the default view which we already discussed about it so uh, let me just uh, duplicate this action okay and here we want to add consumable products okay consumable products and here we need to add a domain like uh, this so the technical name for uh, this field is uh, let me just check it again uh, okay it is a detailed type and C O N S U is the technical value. Uh, detailed type. Okay, and this one is consume. Okay, and this is it. And we have added a domain, we have added a new action. Just save it, go back, and here uh, we need to select it. Okay, we need to select consumable products here it is you can see if you open it you will see it consumable products and this domain is added okay come back this is added uh, and just go back here or uh, refresh the page so here if you click on the products so here you can see 30 products and if you click on the consumable products you can see 25 products okay so if i add a group uh, by product type you can see only product with consumable type so if i go here and add this product type you can see services product and consumable products okay so this is how you can add a menu item and how you can uh, add the action for the menu item okay so you need to just uh, keep in mind some of the uh, parameters like uh, the product of the action object uh, the action type okay uh, which is like a, a, a act window in this case and uh, this is uh, not a mandatory thing okay and the domain okay so in case of adding another menu item i will just give you an assignment for this purpose you just need to follow the same steps that we have done uh, in this video in order to add another menu item and the name of the second menu item would be services products and here you also need to create another action for the services products menu and you need to add a domain here uh, same like we have added here but it should be applicable for the services product like it should only display the products with detail type consume uh, with detail type service okay so just uh, try it and if you face any issues you can join our discard group the link of the discard group is in the description of the video and you can join the group and ask for any help okay so um, if you enjoyed this video please give your huge thumbs up and also please uh, subscribe to our channel and don't forget to click the bell icon so that you can get the updates of the upcoming videos thank you